This week, a B and B with a touch of double Dutch. The whole music thing has gone a bit umpa loompa. Oh, music is falling down on me! Stop! Mm -hmm. This has just blown my mind. They're clearly in quite a lot of trouble. We are afraid it's not going to be our style. He hates the lack of control. I think they need to face the music. Torquay, the jewel in South Devon's English Riviera. Amidst a sea of B&Bs, Dutch couple Hans McDaniel and Monica van der Meij live in harmony. A nine-bedroomed B&B with music at its heart. We didn't pick out a theme. It is just us. This tuneful twosome took on the harmony three years ago. As soon as I walked into the reception area and into the hall, I thought to myself, wow, yes, this feels right. In search of their dream of working together. I like people, I like to work with people. Uh, Monica likes to work with people. Why not hospitality? My standards are maybe a bit too high every now and then, but I do think everything should be clean. And I really love going down on my knees. They soon set about adjusting the decor in their own image. The way we decorated the rooms, you think, wow, this is amazing, this is different, but also it's stylish. We like music everywhere, but not really in your face that you're thinking, oh, music is falling down on me, stop! But despite the joys of working together, hey. Hans and Monica have discovered they can't live on love alone. Yeah, we are in harmony with... With me! <laughs> oh, yes. Harmony has two people working, yeah, that's us. We have no staff, we can't afford staff. The couple's ill health is also beginning to tell, with the musical renovations having to be put on hold. So we both suffer from fibromyalgia, and uh, you basically have very limited energy while well, you're always in pain. Everything hurts. We only take two-day bookings. When we're full, basically, we're drowning ourselves in a big hole. With the peak season over and facing another year without profit, a dark cloud is starting to descend. Harmony is coming in between our harmony. And... We work so hard for nothing. If we have a little money, we go to the Netherlands to see our family because I miss my children very much. We are here, between the walls, and that's it. Hence our cry for help. They've called upon renowned expert Alex Polizzi. Can the hotel inspector answer their cries in a town that's notoriously tough to crack? I think it's naive in the extreme for novice hotelier to start out in Torquay. This is an incredibly competitive market. Unless you know what you're doing, there's so many other places to take those customers off you. I'm not at all surprised to hear that at least one B&B is struggling. Hi. Hi. Hans. Hi, Alex. Monica. Hello, Monica. Lovely. Hi, Alex. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. May I come, come in? in? Come Thank in. you. Come in. So I'm immediately getting a musical theme. I can see from the leaflet stand and this and the frogs and the... Whatever that is. Bugle. Bugle, thank you. <laughs> I'm not musically inclined, I want to warn you. Well, we are. Clearly. What's your current occupancy? Because you've just had a busy summer, I we take it. We had a it. very busy summer. The occupancy we had 
this summer we can't cope with. If I take July, August, we come to roughly 50%. So 50% occupancy, nine rooms, it's between four and five rooms a day. It's not that much, is it? It's not quite the welcome Alex was expecting. Will the bedrooms help warm things up? Well, we've put Alex in room four. I hope she will like it. It's a bit pink. We always try to put somebody into a room that we think suits them best. Yeah. She's pink. Yeah. Yeah, she's pink. I wouldn't particularly want to sleep in here with my husband, quite honestly. Nothing is added to this room by these items. We have some beautiful wall art. The decoration of the rooms is how we like it. It's funny enough, the only jarring notes are the musical ones. Underwhelmed by the colour scheme, Alex goes in search of a more pleasing palette. Very pink for the dance of the seven veils. <laughs> this is a bit boudoir -y in a slightly cheap and tacky way. We love how they look. Yeah. They're all so very beautiful. And, and different. I don't know if the intention is to make me feel sexy, but it doesn't have that effect. Well, this is obviously a room that is before the decorating was done, and actually, I think I prefer it. I would have just put some plainer bed linen on. All in all, I would say that decorating ethos may be slightly out of tune with a modern traveller. I don't think much of the theming. I think it's a bit half-assed, to tell you the truth. If we had to lose the music theme, that would, well, be uh, very difficult. We like it because it says something about us. Why have all this out? I mean, I don't want... Honestly, I don't get this. Things don't get much clearer downstairs. Oh, gosh. Here, the whole music thing has gone a bit oompa loompa. Gosh. I don't know quite what to say. I mean, this is really awful. This has just blown my mind. A confused theme, an unappealing colour scheme, and a set of hosts reluctant to attract a full house. Alex is facing a sleepless night. They're clearly in, in quite a lot of trouble. I mean, I don't have much patience with that. Oh, my goodness, we can't handle 50% occupancy. They've lost over 16 grand a year, year on year, for three years. That's a hell of a lot of money to have chucked down the swanee. It's, oh, I think the situation's very dire, about as dire as it can be. Alex Polizzi is in Torquay, inspecting a musically inspired B&B &B struggling to find its rhythm. There's one of the most asked questions here. Are you into music? Why? So far, owners Hans and Monica's creative touches have failed to tickle the hotel inspector's fancy. Yeah, we get it. You like pink. Do you have to prove it to me at every turn? Who doesn't like our rooms? With a dismal occupancy rate and profits a busted flush, Alex was stunned to hear her hosts were shying away from a full house. I have been closing off rooms because we couldn't cope with the number of one-day stays. A 50% occupancy rate in a nine-bedroom hotel, that should be doable. After a good night's sleep, will a full English help Alex get her head around the double Dutch? Breakfast is served between 8.30 and 9.15 a.m. I mean, 45 minutes? That's pretty miserly. 
slightly depressing. You come here maybe for a nice weekend and you're told you have to have breakfast by 9.15. I mean, it's just not exactly welcoming. At least she will be uh, already in a good mood because she had a, had a good breakfast, so... <laughs> Well, can I order some breakfast? Of course you can. If she doesn't like it, it's her own fault and she chose the wrong thing. The eggs might have proved appetising. Mmm, really nice breakfast. But the drab dining room is harder to digest. I think this is in such dire need of a facelift that I can ignore it at my peril. And her host's lack of hunger for extra paying customers is providing even more food for thought. I think they came into this business with very unrealistic expectations, to tell you the truth. And I don't think either of them kind of understood what impact that would have on their lives. I'm very nervous about what change I'm going to be able to affect. With the business on its knees, Alex wants to find out if Hans and Monica can stand on their own two feet. OK, I've got a challenge for you. Now, I know you don't like surprises, but then this is the wrong business because I'm afraid there's a lot of surprises. I'd like to see you a little bit under pressure so that I see how you work. I'd like to see you welcoming guests in. I'd like to see you showing people to rooms. I'd like to see a busy breakfast. To stand any chance of increasing Harmony's fortunes, Alex needs to be sure Hans and Monica can handle the extra workload. So I have people who are turning up potentially for a one night stay. This is 520 quid if you decide to accept all of them. Yeah, but this is entirely in your hands. I'm not foisting them on you. You have the option to say, yes, I want them or no, I don't. It's up to you what you think you can handle. Up to the challenge, then. Go on. Yeah, you're. Go on. Go on. Take it. <laughs> I did think that they weren't going to accept the challenge. I thought that she was just going to say, I just can't do it. You expect the unexpected. But, well, yeah. this was <laughs> unexpected. Seeing a wood of money did definitely help. Who isn't convinced by £500 in cold hard cash? I think seeing them under pressure will definitely inform what I say to them tomorrow. Because I've got to leave them with a situation they can cope with. With guests on their way, Alex pitches in with the housekeeping. But will the hotel inspector be able to live up to Monica's famously high standards? I feel that it's my job to do it, and then I must do it, and not somebody else. Her weakness is that she can't accept anything less than 110%. I think that is the biggest problem. Okay. I wouldn't be at all surprised if this is making Monica feel very uncomfortable. Here's me kind of coming in and doing bits and bobs all over the place. It feels very strange because I'm not used to it. And now I'm walking around like a headless chicken, not to know what to do. But I think she has to accept that this is a situation she's going to have to learn to live with because if they are going to be busier, she'll need help. And so this is a dipping a toe in the water. I have absolutely a routine and now I'm out of control and that's a very big problem. You know, what I want to say to you, and I want you to remember, this is a business and actually if it's going to make some money, we're going to have to make it busier. You're not going to be able to handle everything on your own. No, I know. So you're going to have to loosen the reins a little bit. You can't keep on doing no. all the rooms all the time. It's just silly and you're knackered and being knackered makes you sad and grumpy. You know, the point is there's many more important things about running a B&B than cleaning the bedroom. Yeah. All right? Monica's doing an incredibly physical job. I mean, it's a long time since I've turned over as many rooms as that. And I was sweating at the end of it. No wonder they don't want a full house. But I think we have to find a solution to it, because realistically, I don't know what kind of fairy godmother that they think I am. 
But to tell me that they want 10% occupancy or 20% occupancy evened out throughout the year, you might as well ask me to get the moon made of cheese. I mean, it's just not going to happen. I think they need to face some music. Alex has invited 20 guests to try out Harmony's musical bed and breakfast experience. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for coming to help me out and welcome to the Harmony. It's an opportunity to see how her hosts conduct themselves. What I would like to see now is them shaking off their tiredness, being the genial hosts that they need to be. Hello. Hello. Finding that extra gear and rising to fight another day. Everything seems very calm at the moment. How long will it last? <laughs> da, da, da. <laughs> Will Alex's impromptu invitees find the Harmony experience one they might repeat? Hello. Hello. May I trouble you? Hi. Hello. I just really want to find out what you think of this so far. Well, first impressions, I think it's very nice. Yes? Yes. I Good. Think. It's a beautiful room and it's very well appointed. Clean? Yes. Should bloody be, because I cleaned it. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think of the decor? And I'm not Don't quite sure what <laughs> Michael Jackson's got to do with it, though. I, can... <laughs> I, can... I love that comment. With the guests checked in, it's time for Alex to check out. I feel as if I'm leaving Harmony with a full house and a happy heart, actually. The guests seem quite happy. All I can hope for now is that they have a good evening and that they're full of praise in the morning. Breakfast tomorrow morning will be rush hour. <laughs> yeah. They will have to wait till the breakfast is ready. Next morning, Alex returns in time to witness the precise 45-minute breakfast service. Come and set a B&B for bed, breakfast and bath. So this is a fairly large element of the proceedings and I hope they just keep their cool, don't get the orders mixed up, serve everyone properly and that we have happy guests at the end of it. Morning! Keep cool. Keep cool and carry on. That's the only choice you have, I'm afraid. Well, that's the way we do it. Should I just go and chat up your guests? Or would you like to take an order? Uh, well, you, you can take orders. Um, but you've got a system. Look at yeah, this. Yeah, well, we have a system. Bacon is B. And sausage. tomato is T. And tomato is T. Well, I said help. Or would take... you rather I helped with? No, I know she doesn't want any help. You can't help him. Okay. How do you like your egg? Scrambled. Could I have egg? Bacon. What, how would you like your egg? Oh. What's the internationally recognised symbol for fried egg? By the way, did you tell me? Well, F-E. F-E, F -E. F -E. F -E. OK, that's fried fine. Fried egg. One problem with having quite a small time allotted for breakfast service is that you have to do everybody at the same time. I'm not a huge fan of it. Breakfast orders. Oh! Um, it is all cooked to order, so there'll be a, a little bit of a wait. People now all come at the same time, which is not a problem. You just have to be patient. Well, it'll be out as soon as it comes. Yeah, all right, don't worry. <laughs> it looks like it's happening. It's happening quite slowly. One hour in, and only half the guests have their grub. I'm waiting for some coffee to come. I'm gagging for oh, Well, let me follow that up, that yeah. up for you. Here we go, darling. Oh, it's rather intensive, their method of doing breakfast. It takes two of them to cook it and to check it and to put it on the path, and it's incredibly slow coming out. But, 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 they are getting there. And they're very calm. She's not throwing baked beans at hand, <laughs> which I was hoping to see, frankly. <laughs> Hans and Monica have proved they can provide a full breakfast service, albeit at their own unique pace. But are the guests happy? I'd love to know overall what you thought of the experience. Very much pleasanter experience than I thought it was going to be. Oh, good. Well, I thought they were perfect hosts and they would actually be the reason I'd choose to come back here. They seem very nervous. Uh, with, uh, with the mountain of people, I, I could see it. Mm. If you run a B and B, surely you've got to expect that sometimes you're going to have a full house, aren't you? They've tried it that way. They can't yes. manage it that way. Yes. They have to accept that they need yes. to change things. 
Alex Polizzi is on the English Riviera, trying to help the musically inspired Harmony B&B. Why have all this out? Honestly, I don't get this. But with her hosts, Hans and Monica, battling ill health and turning business away, she needs to make sure everyone is singing from the same hymn sheet. This is a business, and actually, if it's going to make some money, we're going to have to make it busier. They are in such a difficult position. You know, they, they have no options but to keep going. With low occupancy, zero profits, and the lean winter months approaching, Alex has come up with a rescue plan. I think the headline for me is, I can't help you out of the hole you're in without increasing your occupancy. Yeah. OK? It takes a toll on you, I see. I see how hard it is. But the most important thing that we do is that we try and broaden your appeal in order to raise your occupancy. It's clear the couple struggle to cater for a full house, but Alex has a plan to fill the rooms without creating too much additional work. Harmony is perfectly placed for international students. I've contacted a lot of the language schools that provide courses throughout the year from two weeks upwards. And it means that you could have people in here for longer term. You only have to change the linen once a week. It's less stressful. I'm lost for words. I think it's a great idea. Good. But to attract this market, Hans and Monica must put their B&B on the tourist map. I also would like you to get a star rating. It would be useful for these language schools. They like someone with a star rating. But I think in such a crowded marketplace, and goodness knows Torquay is one, you need one to stand out. Finally, Alex believes the couple need to finish their bedroom renovations and mute their musical theme. I would like to suggest that we tone down in the rooms. Because I understand your theme here, but I think it's quite hard to have someone like Michael Jackson staring down at you if you don't really like Michael Jackson. To get the star rating, it would be helpful to have the last two rooms upgraded. If I can throw the challenge to you to try and get those two rooms done to a standard that somehow fits in, what I want to do is this room. Make this an area where people could eat, but also sit and hang out. Make it very stylish. Put every, all, all, the all the posters here. Make it really beautiful, colourful. Change the flooring, obviously. So, we've got our battle plans drawn up. You said the challenge. Challenge needs a time frame. Within six weeks, we get it done. I want to try and turn this situation around as quickly as possible so that I rapidly leave you in a better state. We're going to get this sorted. Hopefully, the solution I've come up with is, is going to work for them. I mean, there is an action, a plan of action. Somebody points us in a different direction. Yeah, we're hopeful. And be very hopeful. There's a lot to do, frankly. I need to get this plan in motion so that they've got some money to see them through the winter. But I have faith in, in this project. Alex might have left in an optimistic mood. But just days later, it seems Hans and Monica are less keen on one particular part of her rescue plan. I must say I'm still not 100% convinced about the star rating system. Is it worth it? We call ourselves four-star anyway, and looking at what we have, I think we are way over four-star. Room three. Absolutely no problem four-star with this room. Clean and freshly polished surfaces. Well, greater attention to detail, greater than you. High-quality accessories. Tick. Five star. We will get four star. If four not, star then I will eat my shirt. Despite their misgivings, the couple set about toning down the musical theme. Parting company with some of Harmony's resident music royalty. Sorry, Michael. You're not wanted anymore. Oh, goodbye, Elvis. Elvis has left the building. 
It's not long before they get to work bringing the rest of their bedrooms up to standard. Going, going, gone. Go. I think it's a good idea for Hans and Monica to make sure that all their room stock is at the same level before they get rated and before they have the language schools come and visit. It's got to be sparkly. Silver sparkly. With uh, purple, pink and purple. Pink and purple. I love sparkles, yeah. yeah. However, I want them to strike a careful balance between doing what they can to bring everything up to standard and not exhausting themselves. We've been working every day from quite early till sometimes late in the evening. It's been a major, a major project. But it's not harmonious everywhere. Downstairs, Alex's design team have moved into the basement, planning a drastic dining room restyle. And the lack of control is beginning to bother Hans. Well, to start was, was Alex's destruction team. Alex has a hotel taste. Well, if she's going to match up to what we are doing, then it should be Sparkly warm, and sparkly, warm. warm, bold colours. We are uh, afraid it's not going to be our style. I'm quickly starting to realise that Hans and Monica are very much two-sided creatures. They're either incredibly up and happy and positive and sociable, or they're very flat and despondent and falling prey to their illnesses. Worried about the brewing discord, Alex puts a call in to test the waters on the English Riviera. Good morning, Harmony b, &B. This is Alex Polizzi. How are you, Hans? Yes, excited, worried, anxious, uh, because we, we still don't know what's happening. What you cooked up downstairs. Oh, um, darling, you're going to love it. I'm sure you're going to love it. I wouldn't be able to come to you. If I didn't really think that you'd be pleased, I think you'll be really happy. OK, well, that was, we just wait till the end. <laughs> it'll be all right on the night, as they yes, say. it'll be all right on the night, so we'll wait for the night. So, listen, tomorrow morning, we have the language school owners coming. You have shown an interest in finding somewhere for their students to stay, who are very okay. interested in what we've explained to them about your establishment. OK. Hopefully, they will like what they see and we'll be able to seal a deal there and then. And that's what I'm hoping. That would be an yeah. ideal scenario. Well, I'm heading your way soon, darling. OK? Right. OK. See you tomorrow, then. Tomorrow. Bye, darling. OK. Bye. Bye-bye. He sounds very stressed out. He hates the lack of control. You know, he hasn't seen the dining room yet. Um, he's not sure he's going to like it. I hope it's going to be a knockout. And quite honestly, anything would be better than that minging carpet and those decrepit, dilapidated walls. Anyway, all that aside, this is somewhere that they have put their heart and soul into, and I understand that they're nervous. I just hope tomorrow goes well and that he thinks the whole process has been worth it. It's Harmony's big day. Alex's team are putting the final flourishes to the dining room. Put the finishing touches in the room. Yeah. Hans and Monica are finessing their new rooms. Did you bring the sweeties? Yeah. And Alex is back in town for the grand reveal. How are you? Really Hi. well. Mm. How, How are you? See you? Hi, Hi. Mwah. Mwah. How are you? Really well. Glad Good. to be back. When Alex first arrived, she found bedrooms weighed heavily with musical memorabilia. But after the couple set to work retuning the decor, they're now pitch perfect. Oh my goodness, darling, much nicer now. Clever you. Darling, I love it. It's so much nicer than it was. Oh. <gasps> it looks enormous. It is. Yes. I'm very impressed. Thank you. I must say. I don't say this lightly. <laughs> Hans and Monica have impressed in the bedrooms, but can Alex now offer her own flash of inspiration? So I think the moment has come for me to show you downstairs. Are you ready? Yeah. Are we ready? <laughs> <laughs> From
from a once dark and dingy dining room with a lacklustre theme, Alex has created a modern, multifunctional space that still maintains the host's love of music. What do you think? Oh, empty. <laughs> well, it's empty of people at the moment, but do you like the style? It's what do you think? Do you like it or not? It's different. I have to let it... Yeah, say it has to sink in. <laughs> do you like your wall of records? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, lovely. And the colours? Yeah. And how easy it's going to be to keep clean? Yes. <laughs> and the fact that you don't have to have a tablecloth uh, table anymore? I'm always trying to think about you guys. Mm -hmm. Everything's light, so there's no heavy lifting. Easy to maintain. Sit down. They're very, very comfortable. And maybe surprisingly... Oh, cold. <laughs> the main thing is that this is modern and it fits in a lot better with your rooms. I would say Monica and Hans's reaction was muted. <laughs> I know it's a bit to take in, but they could have been a little bit more enthusiastic, I feel. Anyway, I think it's great and hopefully it's going to appeal to the language school managers who I've invited today. In South Devon, Hotel Inspector Alex Polizzi is trying to stop the harmony falling off a financial cliff. Hans and Monica find themselves in a very difficult position. They're already struggling with health issues and they're both in pain. Because so I've got to leave them with a situation they can cope with. Alex's plan is to rescue the ailing seaside B&B by appealing to Torquay's many foreign language students. Oh, it will absolutely help us in the long run to have uh, students staying here because it's less work and you can have them all year long. If Hans and Monica can impress the international language schools, it could raise Harmony's dismal occupancy rate without significantly increasing the host's workload. It is quite crucial to make a good impression. I know people will like Harmony, but whether they want to use this, of course, uh, another matter. Monica's doing her best to make sure the couple can pull it off. I also made some uh, little meatballs. I love balls, period. <laughs> I'm very fond of balls. Alex is on hand to help out with the viewing, and she's invited another potential source of much-needed business. I have found a Dutch tour operator, and they run exclusive coach tours to Britain. They have no accommodation provided that they work with in Torquay. So they're very interested in maybe working with you. OK. Hans and Monica must now sing the praises of Harmony and prove it can be home from home for sightseers and students alike. This is one of the rooms we revamped recently. It's very nice. Looks like more homely than the bigger hotels in Torquay. Very impressed. The thinking behind encouraging Hans and Monica to look at this market is that it's as yet an untapped one for them. Obviously, lots of younger students prefer to stay with host families, but there are businessmen and mature students who might prefer a better class of lodging. And I suggest that they go directly for that. All our rooms are different. Fantastic. Mm. Yeah. Fantastic. This would be uh, ideal for... Uh... Our coach drivers, that's for certain. Very, very different, very refreshingly different. Everything's clean, detail is good, um, and it just feels like a nice, uplifting, friendly place to come if you're going to spend a few days, a few weeks even. Hans and Monica's newly refurbished bedrooms have gone down a storm. But will Alex's makeover be as popular? I do really hope that Hans and Monica will be able to sell this room with as much enthusiasm. They do have a highly inflated opinion of their own abilities. So unless they've done it, they basically distrust it. This is the last room that's been done. Do you like this room too? Do you yes. think this hits yeah. the mark, yes. fits yes. the bill? It's yeah. fresh. It's a beautiful, beautiful space, nice open, bright space. Mm. And it, to start your day, if you're coming down for your breakfast, that's exactly what you want. Mm. 
Good. Mm. But I feel there's one thing missing, and I think it's one, one colored wall. I'm not sure, but, but it is not 100% us yet. So, and that's what we're gonna... It's a great success, I think. Oh, yeah, you, we're, we're quite guess, happy with it. Yeah. And guess what I was quite afraid what you would do yes. to it. <laughs> but you did it, yes. you did it. And I'm quite pleased with the result. Good, I'm so pleased. Grand tour complete. Alex wants to get straight down to business. I suppose the important question is, do you think that there's any way that you can work with Harmony? Yes. Yep. Good. There is. We do get business people and we get professionals, and this is an ideal spot for them to come to. Absolutely ideal. Mm. And Good. We'll certainly be offering your, your hotel to our students in the coming year. Morning. Yeah, uh, it's a, a really nice B&B, so uh, we will contact uh, each other and maybe take it into some car tours or just as a, a loose accommodation. And Peter, what about you? I would recommend this place totally. With a potential rescue plan on the table, can Hans and Monica now seal the deal? Our problem is we both suffer from fibromyalgia. We can't cope with the real peak load like we have in the summer. Hmm. So we were really aiming to get longer stay people in or we basically ruin our health. Alex is worried that Hans has somehow managed to snatch defeat from the jaws of victory. You must be careful. I know that your fibromyalgia affects your life and your work dramatically, but I don't think it has any place in a business discussion. I didn't think they needed to know how you choose to run your business and why you choose not to have one night guests. You need to look at ways that it's manageable to be as busy as you can possibly be within, within your power. abilities. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I think that they were all very impressed by your property. Mm -hmm. And hopefully you will get some business from them. I think the next thing we need to do is make sure you get a good rating from this inspection. So be prepared. And as soon as you know, please will you let me know. I hope we have something to celebrate. Yeah. Well, I'm feeling pretty deflated. I don't have a magic wand or fairy dust. All I can do is give them new alternative markets. Inevitably, if they get a four-star rating, they will get busier. It's up to them whether they take the business or not. Two weeks later, Hans and Monica have decided Alex's tastes haven't quite matched their own. When we came downstairs, I was speechless. I didn't know what to say. It wasn't homely enough down here. I adore those vinyls on the wall, although the chairs are a bit cold on your bottom. And I don't like bare tables. Uh, we put some more instruments on the... On the steps. We put some plants in here. And we decided to put some wallpaper on, the, on these two walls, a little bit of golden sparkle. <laughs> <laughs> but Hans and Monica can't afford to be distracted by the decor. The AA inspector is about to check in for an undercover stay. Oh, that's a bit chilly outside, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's, uh, right. it's not much as it should be. No, exactly. Not bad. Casting a critical eye over everything from comfort to cleanliness. A yellow hue to that. Hans and Monica are unaware their guest holds the key to Harmony's future. I reintroduce myself now, if you don't mind. I'll give you my card. My name is Robert Martin. I work for the A. Yeah. Okay, good. Great. With a star rating so important to raising the Harmony's profile, have Hans and Monica done enough to impress? Let's start with the visits overall. Perhaps a slightly slow just in getting the, the system going with the booking. Uh, breakfast this morning, it's, it's a lovely space. I think. Tables are laid out great for breakfast. Just remember the butter, there's no butter on the tables. Cleanliness overall was great, just watch. Um, on the desk, there was a bit of dust in corners. Just an eye for detail. 
Overall, a pleasant stay. A report will come to you in due course. Hi, Monica. Hi, Alex. How did it go? Well, we didn't achieve what we want to achieve. You didn't? No. Yeah, we got the four star. Yay! <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, you are mean. I'm so I'm so pleased for you. That's good news. Spend all your hard work in getting all the rooms up to standard worthwhile. I hope it gets you some more business and quickly. Cheers. Cheers to the four stars. They're in a good mood, that's all I care about. And they're feeling quite hopeful about the future. I really wish them the best. I mean, my aim was to ease some of the lumps and bumps in their bookings. I've given it a good shot. Good luck to them.